Hello, my name is Heidi Goebel, and I'm an exercise physiologist here at Pascack Valley Medical Center. I work in the cardiac and pulmonary rehab department, and I'm going to talk about COPD and exercise. COPD, also known as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is a term used to describe different types of lung conditions. According to the CDC, there are more than 15 million people that have COPD. When a person has this condition, it is often difficult to breathe. Even light or moderate exercise can be very challenging. Often their overall health and quality of life are impacted. However, there are a number of exercises that can be done to benefit a person with COPD. It is important to check with your doctor before beginning a program. For those of you that use supplemental oxygen, you should exercise with it. Speak to your doctor about regulating the flow of oxygen as it will differ during exercise than when you are at rest. Walking is a great exercise for anyone, including people with COPD. It is a low impact activity and easy on your joints. Probably the most important part of your routine is proper footwear. Make sure you wear a good pair of sneakers or walking shoes. Also, make sure you dress appropriately and stay hydrated, especially in warm weather. We tend to not think about drinking if we're exercising, so make sure you have some water or soft drink nearby when you're exercising. It is not recommended that you go out when it is hot or humid, especially for people with COPD. A shopping mall is a great alternative to walking outside. It is temperature controlled and there are a lot of places to sit and rest as needed. Water aerobics is another wonderful activity. It is easier on the joints than most other activities. This can also be done in the cooler weather inside a, a gym or a facility that has an indoor swimming pool. Yoga is also a very good exercise for people with COPD. It is low impact and can be modified for different levels of fitness. It has a breathing component, which is a plus for those with COPD. Stretching is also very beneficial, especially as we get older. It is an important part of any exercise routine. Stretching is best done after you've warmed up or you have done your routine, the muscles are nice and loose. You never want to stretch a cold muscle. You will be more prone to injury at that point. Seated strength training is another component of exercise that helps keep muscles strong. You can use light weights, soup cans, or even a water bottle. They can be done in a chair without arms, preferably. If you want to be challenged, you can also use a large exercise ball. You want to aim for two sets of 10 to 12 repetitions of each exercise. An easy exercise is a bicep curl. You start with your arms at your side in front of you on either side of your thighs. You then curl your arms up to your chest. After about two seconds, you bring them back down. You want to bring them up for two seconds and then bring the weights back down for four seconds. Again, look to do about 10 to 12 reps of this exercise. Another exercise is a lateral raise. You start with your hands at your sides, then lift your arms up and out to about shoulder height. Again, bring them up for two seconds and bring it back down for four seconds. Sit to stand is a great exercise for leg strength. You sit in a chair with your arms crossed in front of you then push yourself out of the chair using your legs. Stand up and hold that position for about five to eight seconds, then slowly sit back down and start again. You wanna aim for five to 10 repetitions of this particular exercise. Important thing is to make sure that the chair does not have wheels so it doesn't move out from underneath you. As with any type of exercise, remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath, especially when doing weights. And with weights, you want to exhale with the exertion. Usually your first uh, part of the exercise is your exertion. Lastly, pulmonary rehab is a great way to stay active and learn how to exercise with COPD. 
Our program consists of medically supervised exercise and education. We teach you about your lungs and how to manage your disease. Please contact us at 201-781-1450 to see if you qualify. Exercise is really beneficial to all, especially those with COPD. It doesn't matter your age, it's really just knowing what you should do and what is the proper activity for your exercise ability, your fitness level. For those with this disease, your quality of life can be limited, but by making changes in your health through diet and exercise, you can curb many of the side effects of this illness. And again, it's never too late to start. You may have not been doing anything most of your life, but it doesn't mean that you can't start now. Always start out slow and pace yourself. And again, if you are older, you should check with your physician first before doing any kind of exercise activity. Thank you for taking time to listen to this presentation and wish you all the best in your health endeavors.